Welcome to Andy's Garage. I'm Andy Phillips. Today we're going to be just a quick video. We're going to be talking about an issue that some people have experienced and I've seen a lot of stuff going on online. Just wanted to touch on it and it's when your vehicle stalls out when you're driving but your battery indicator light does not go on. So let's get started. This is the symbol that we're talking about, the one that's shaped like a little battery. So as we saw, you have that indicator on your dash, and I just wanted to explain briefly what that is. A lot of people think it pertains strictly to your battery, but it doesn't. It pertains to your, your charging system, which is your battery, your alternator, those things like that. A lot of times, if you're driving and that comes on, it's an indication that there's something going on with the charge from the alternator getting to the battery, and at that point, it's draining your battery. The alternator is not doing its job doesn't mean that, that your battery is dying or dead all the time. Now, in some cases, and we had it with this vehicle here, and just reading online different forums and stuff, I've seen other people encountering it and no real clear like answers as far as what happened. So I just wanted to just kind of show you what the issue was here, and that might solve your problem. But we had a vehicle here that was driving. Battery started acting weird. Lights flashing, gauges quirking out, headlights dimming, all that stuff that goes with the battery failing, and then the car just stalled out. However, n never once did that battery indicator light come on. Now, in the past, when I've had alternators fail, normally that light comes on first to let you know that there's an issue with the charging system, but you still could have 20, 30 minutes of battery life, depending on how strong your battery is before it finally fails. In the case with this one here, like, like we said, battery light did not come on and it just started quirking out and the car just stalled shortly after that. Didn't give much warning at all. So I went through a diagnosis process and um, did a video that'll be on this channel as far as how we diagnosed everything. But I just wanted to get right to the point for this video. When that happens a lot of times, if that light is not coming on, you know it's not your alternator most of the time. Because if your alternator's charge falls below its threshold or goes too high, that's going to trigger that light. If the light does not come on and your car is stalling, you're having issues with the battery, then a lot of times it's not the alternator and you want to test your alternator and I'll have a link across the top down in the description how to do so. You do want to rule that out, but a lot of times it's not the alternator. You do want to check the battery because if you have an alternator that's fine, you have a battery that's fine and that happened, then you want to go right to your battery cables. You want to be looking for are your cables loose? and also if there's any corrosion. And I'll show you with this particular vehicle, we had that happen. We're gonna head under the hood and I'm gonna show you what's going on and then we'll, we'll take a look and, and show you how we fix that. Coming in here on this battery, you can see, get here close, you can see a little bit of corrosion there around that, that post there on the positive. And even here on the negative, you can see a little bit of uh, some corrosion there in that crease. But uh, you'll see that bluish color right there where it's connecting to the battery from the battery cable, which is not a good thing that could be hindering the charge. Get up close here. Look at this. As I'm starting to loosen this, you can see some of the acid crumbling. So let's remove these cables and take a look and see exactly what's going on. You can see on this negative post here, some junk broke apart and fell off. So we'll take the positive one off. This is the one that I believe is our, is our issue because that's hindering the charge coming back from the alternator to the battery. So let's get this off and see what's under here. And look at that. Let's get a close up so you can see it. But look at all this junk here that came off around this post. But if we look here, look at that. The whole inside is completely corroded, definitely hindering the voltage coming back. And there's our negative one. You can see that. And the positive. They're both bad, but that positive one is, is the issue. So let's clean it. I'm going to use some of this battery acid cleaner. Just spray it on here. If you want to see a video that I did showing more in depth how to clean uh, the battery with this stuff, I'll have a link across the top down in the description. But we'll spray this on here. This one's good. It turns kind of a pinkish color when it hits the corrosion. And we'll let it sit for the maximum time, let it do its job. We have it, as you can see, there on the negative post, positive post, and then also here on the connection because that had a lot of corrosion there on the inside. We'll let it do it job after we rinse that off then we'll take the wire brush and you want to clean these posts really good get them nice and clean so we have a nice clean dry connection to the wires and then now if we look here you can see we clean the inside look at that you can see how it's nice and clean no more of that bluish greenish junk in there all that is clean and dry on this one as well all nice and clean and this is how it should look you can see it from the top 
You don't have any corrosion, even though this one didn't have a lot of corrosion on the outside, but you still want it nice and clean as we see here. I'm gonna check the voltage before we start it real quick. So let's see here. We're looking at 12.7 on the terminals. I'm gonna come out here now. Let's do it out here. and Just make sure that these connections are good. We'll come out this way. Also 12.7, so that looks good. So everything is clear. Let's start it. Let's test the voltage now with the engine running. And we can see here we're over 14, so the alternator is doing its job. We'll take it for a drive. It's running good. No battery light on, even though we didn't have it before. But a car is running great. No issues. And then here we are now idling. Still no issues. Everything's running good. So as we just saw, the connection to the battery uh, cables to the terminals had a lot of corrosion. Wasn't really, because I've seen some where they're really caked up on, on the outside. There was a little bit, but you saw on the inside when we removed them, just all of that junk just breaking off and falling off. That will definitely obstruct the signal coming back because just to kind of help you understand a little bit, if you have loose battery cables as well, it can cause that. I've had that happen years ago before where I was, had a vehicle driving it, pulling into a parking space, the car starts just quirking out the battery and just died and just stalled right into the parking space. And that one was caused not by corrosion, but it was caused by a loose connection. If you're driving your vehicle, just to kind of help you understand, the battery is used to start your car. Once it's started, then the alternator is then generating the voltage that is recharging your battery. If your battery dies um, for whatever reason, let's say you have a faulty battery and it's dead while you're driving after you've got the car started, or if the, the negative battery um, cable comes loose or whatever, your car should still work fine, providing that you have a good alternator, because your alternator is connected to the positive on the battery, and it's still generating the voltage to keep that going. You don't want to do that, because that could be a strain on your alternator if you let that go too long, but you're not going to have your car stall out from that. Now, in this case here, we saw it was the positive battery cable that was, well, I mean, they were both bad, but the, the positive one had a lot of gunk on it as well with corrosion. So that's where the problem was because the alternator, though it was working fine, was unable to properly charge the battery because of that connection being bad. And that was the issue that we had, which also resulted in the light not coming on because the alternator was functioning fine and it was that corrosion there. Sometimes that can trigger the light, but if you have an issue where you're you know, stalling out and that battery light is not coming on, Instead of wasting time and money on other things, I would start by going right to your cables, make sure that they're tightly secured and connected and that there's no corrosion. If there is, clean it off really good like we showed here. You can use that battery cleaner that I used to get that off, but also take a steel brush and just scrape it nice and clean. Make sure that you have a nice, clean connection and that should solve your problem. So quick video, just wanted to throw it out there while I'm dealing with this. Like I said, I see on forums people having similar issues and there's no real clear answers, but I just wanted to share what the issue was for me and how, how we were able to fix it. I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out with any issues you're having with your car stalling and, and as we described in this video. Please send me any questions and comments. I would love to hear from you. And as always, I appreciate all the support. So please like this video, subscribe to this channel as I'm constantly posting do-it-yourself videos for your cars and as well as other things. And I'll see you next time.